Welcome to the Oregon Department of Forestry. I'm Christine Buell, forest entomologist with the Forest Health Program. In this video, we'll be discussing insects, specifically bark beetles. Our Forest Health Program consists of me, the entomologist, our forest pathologist who looks at tree diseases, our invasive species specialist who looks at non-native plants and insects, and our aerial survey specialist. Fur engraver is a bark beetle that's a secondary pest meaning that it doesn't typically directly cause mortality to the tree. Fur engraver can kill a portion of the tree and the tree can still survive. However, if a tree is otherwise stressed by drought, fire, root disease, etc., then it can cause mortality. The first indication of a fur engraver attack is often mortality in the very top of the tree. Upon closer inspection, you can peel back the bark particularly where there are exit holes to determine if a fur engraver attack has occurred. The gallery of a fur engraver attack is perpendicular to the tree trunk and has many side channels off the top and the bottom of the gallery. You can also see that it's engraved into the wood in addition to the interior of the bark. Douglas fir beetle is a type of bark beetle that attacks large diameter Douglas fir. It attacks sometime around April and it takes one year to develop from egg to adult. Douglas fir beetle prefers to attack down trees. They enter blow down in April and the next April, they then attack standing trees, preferring to hit those that are already stressed or damaged. Diagnostic features of Douglas fir bark beetle attack include the presence of reddish brown frass in bark cracks and streaming pitch along the tree trunk. Ways to manage for Douglas fir beetle include removal of stressed and damaged trees in the stand and removal of blowdown before the first or second April after blowdown has occurred. In addition, there's a species specific repellent pheromone called MCH that may be applied before the first or second April after blowdown. This product is widely available, relatively inexpensive, and very effective. Here's evidence of frass from a bark beetle. You can tell it's from a bark beetle because it's reddish brown. They've only burrowed into the bark. This can be confused with other frass, such as this lighter colored frass from a wood boring beetle that has actually entered the wood. Once finding this frass, you can chop into the tree to remove a portion of the bark. Flip it over and look for evidence of galleries. Here's a Douglas fir beetle gallery. You can tell by the main chamber having attaching side chambers in alternating clusters alongside the main gallery. You may also see beetles themselves. Here are the adults, here's a larva, and here's a pupa. Thank you and hope you enjoy Oregon's forests.